Hi folks, <laughs> welcome back, welcome back to ML Fisher Tech, as always, it's a pleasure seeing you again, nothing, I just want to share you, to share with you this experience, <laughs> maybe you have this, Nissan Micra K12, 1.2 petrol engine, 2007, but many models are similar, and maybe if you own this car, you know, that once the battery drain out, battery which is actually luckily charging with my Noco 5 charger. So if you run out of battery, I'll take a look. <laughs> Safety always first. So if you run out of battery, you should use the and the key entry. In my case, the key entry wasn't working at all. Maybe different keys, different door, who knows. So, car was locked. Couldn't open because I need to open the boot for, plug, for plugging the battery, you know. So, car closed, boot closed. How you can access the car if you cannot use the, the key, the normal key? So, I checked on the internet for a bunch of videos which where they were explaining that if you, ex if you can access under the car, there's the alternator or the start engine which they are both directly live wired connected to the plus of the battery and if you you can just plug 12 volts there on one of the two 12 volts plus and then you can just for a second unlock the car so you can open the boot the boot sorry the front boot <laughs> and, and and charge the car so man, the, I saw on the internet many ways of doing this. Some people attach a clip on the alternator itself. Some people use a screwdriver, long screwdriver with uh, electrical tape on it to just give the pinch to the bolt and for a second open the, the car. Well, they found it the best as technician. <laughs> it was just to pull a wire. Maybe now I'll go under the, the boot, if the light the torch works, yep. And I'll just try to show you what I mean. Sorry for the change of perspective. So, there's the alternator. With the bolt, which I was talking about. Right there. You can see I pulled a wire to it. Wire which is nice and tight. Stripped with some tape here. So now I'll unplug it. Nice and easy. And I will show you what they're talking about. So as you can see there was a washer connected to this is a wire from a motorcycle i didn't have the washer big enough to use as a tiny hook so i made this shape so that i can that i could with the darkness of the wire pull it over and tack just connected it over the top which will give you solid connection enough you then I got connected here with the charger and that's it. I think this is the best method because you don't have to go too much with the hands inside. It's a pretty tight space. You don't have to use a screwdriver making sparks trying to touch the <laughs> the bolt, risking to be electrocuted or to somehow start fire to the car. So guys, a hook and a brain. That's all from today see you next time bye